Everyday Superwoman Show. I'm your host, Kim LaRue, and I am here at the Urban Yoga Foundation so that I can get my replenishing. <laughs> Come on in. I want you guys to join me because every superwoman knows when and how to replenish herself. And today is my day. Oh, 
And I'll tell you a little bit about the rooibos plant out of South Africa. Okay. So, the rooibos plant from South Africa has over 500 vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, flavonoids. It's just an all-around immune system builder. I blend my own teas. There you go. And uh, the whole part of this concept is I have to honey. <laughs> it's raw honey uh, inside. Okay, I have some. I, so, so I like raw honey. Like raw honey. Too, are we going to do I feel like you wanted to no, go no, cheers no, or something. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just feeling so mellow after the um, yoga. Yeah. You know, just really. Um, I, I want to I wanna say I feel a little um, like I'm on cloud nine. Oh, That's I love how that. I feel. And, um, and I love your teas. I, I haven't had this one, so let me be quiet and let you tell us about the tea. <laughs> this is actually um, an herb from South Africa. Okay. It has over 500 vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, flavonoids, big word, flavonoids, um, all around immune system builder. So what I do is I blend all my teas with rooibos. I do a lemon myrtle rooibos, I do a blueberry oh, rooibos, okay. I do a spiced rooibos green, which is green tea with cardamom cloves and um, mm. ginger and just amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. And what I like to do is, after practice, um, I offer tea to my students mm -hmm. and we sit and we have tea right. and we chat. Right, what are we doing now? Yeah. I want to tell you that I absolutely love it here. This is home. It feels like home, you know. Um, so many yoga places, or you know, that have yoga. You go in, it's like a community center kind of feel to mm -hmm. it. Um, but to come here and, and 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 to be part of, you know, of a home or your home is, is absolutely wonderful. I really Thank like you. it. That was the idea of the the place. We, you know, I've been um, practicing almost 20 years now. I've been uh, the urban yoga concept came out of um, my decision as a yoga teacher when I went through certification and um, I was actually the only woman of color in my class and I was just uh, amazed at that and I thought I want to change that. I want to bring yoga to my community. I want to teach in schools. I want to start young. I want to empower individuals to understand that they can change the direction of their lives through their breath, through their lifestyle, um, through their behavior. Um, what they attach themselves to, and the other part of it is understanding that in a home, you know, having, you know, we do yoga here, we do nutritional counseling, yes. we do, uh, we have massage therapists, we have a, you know, acupuncturist who mm -hmm. comes, a uh, qigong person, oh. and, and bringing that in a home, it keeps a, a straight line for people, so they understand that they can do this at home, you know, they're already in a home creating health, it's not that difficult, uh, you know, mm -hmm. The body has memory, and when you when you engage yourself and open up your mind to understand that this is something you know that you can do as yes. well. You don't need a gym membership. You don't need doesn't have to be a lot of money. Mm -hmm. You know you don't have to make that expense. I mean my my whole idea is teaching people so that they can teach themselves and then teach other one, other people and take that yes. and on and on. And on. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Why you? Why, why yes, why you want to teach yoga? Why? Yoga is actually one of the oldest systemized methods of healing. Um, people, you know, and for me it's like demystifying yoga. Yoga got a bad rap, being trying to be attached to a religion. Because Hindus do yoga, Tibetan monks do yoga, yes. Buddhists do yoga. But understand, those are three different categories of spiritual practices. And what happened was, these highly evolved individuals understood that this science, this technology of yoga, systemized method of healing, mm -hmm. made them stronger and actually got them a lot closer to their spiritual prowess. You know, mm -hmm. you how how close can you feel to honoring God when you're honoring yourself? You're the you know we are the drop of water in the ocean. You know that we're a part of that beautiful universe that God has created. And how do we walk around and not honor that? How do we mm -hmm. lose sight in that? And and yoga, the basic meaning of yoga is to yoke, to unite, to, uh -huh. you know, to yes. come together. So bringing the body, the mm -hmm. breath, the mind, the spirit, body, mind, spirit together, mm -hmm. it encompasses this, this union that creates strength, that creates longevity, mm -hmm. that creates clarity and peace. And um, in my community, 
yeah, we could use that. Yes. You know, so that's squat yoga for me. Yes. Squat yoga. Do you see yourself as a, a spiritual healer? Wow. I've been called a lot of things. <laughs> I've been called that. And I see myself as a teacher. Okay. Um, for those who receive that, I'm honored, you know, because I think that's, um, you know, I worked in fashion for over 25 years and, and I started being called a muse. I worked for um, a designer by the name of Charles Nolan, who was a very dear friend of mine. And um, I inspired a lot of uh, things for him as he inspired me. You know, mm -hmm. we, um, we danced that dance together. And being called a muse was a lot for me because I was like, wow, you know. But you realize that we are all muses, we are all spiritual healers, we are all teachers. So um, I take that with all the grace and humility that it was given and it was said. But um, I'm a teacher and I'm here to create a path for some young people who need it. You know, my focus was children and now I'm realizing that, okay, I start with the kids and I have them bring it home to their parents and now I deal with the teachers as well. So I have, you know, parents, educators, and children to me encompasses the community you know here we have now this spill off of people that you can touch and you can create this mm -hmm. amazing movement of health and wellness I, I like that yeah. word movement mm -hmm. it's movement yeah yeah so in 2012 you know that's what medicine women productions we talk about all the time about the movement you know and here Gillian just used that word again it's a movement yeah, yeah. so tell us about some of the classes you have here some of the classes, so we do holistic health coaching, and uh, what that is, is you get in contact with me, and I do a health assessment, mm -hmm. um, and uh, then we work out seeing each other twice a month. I can do it over the phone, um, or I can do it in person, and we work out just changing the way you're looking at nutrition and your lifestyle of health. Um, we, we look at health as um, your life and the primary focus of your life is happiness. You know, it's like it's like the old saying, you can live on love. Yeah. It's really true. I know, you know, and that's something about you I love, Gillian. I mean, you are so free and open <laughs> and laugh. And, you know, we get together, and, and next, you know, we just giggling and, <laughs> you know, and just being, yeah. you allow people to be themselves, yeah. you know. Um, well, that's that, the first stage of healing. I remember one time, I don't even know if you remember this, I think we were working together on one of the web um, webisodes or web series or something we were doing. And um, being for real. Oh yeah, being for real. We were being for real. Yeah, being for real. Yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah. And um, you said something, I can't remember what it was, and you were a little um, kooky, goofy, and you know, and I say that because I saw myself in you. And I remember saying, I've never met anyone more mushier than me. Like, you were just like way out there like me, you know. Yeah. When I say way out there, I mean totally free and being who you are, you know, and, and letting, um, and being in the moment and in the flow. So, you know, if it made you laugh, you laugh. If it made you cry, you cry. And you were one of those women um, that I was able to identify with in, 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 that, in that sense of but thank you. Thank you, know, you so much. Thank you. Thank well, that's you. a part of this. That's a part of the lineage of what happens here. And, you know, I mean, the nutrition. Um, I get more people that stay in the kitchen and have, I'm like, the tea parlor, let's sit in the, the tea, tea parlor. parlor. You know, the heart of the house is in the kitchen. And people are surrounded by um, a lot of emotion when it comes to food, you know. Um, so it was really important for me to create a, a space that encompassed the whole self, that encompassed all the things that we need to deal with to, to promote and inspire healing, you know, because that's what healing is. You know, you have to, you have to look at health um, as a catalyst for life. You know, mm -hmm. people, you know, you work, you work, you work hard, you do this, you do that, but if you're not healthy, there's no fun in it. There's no fun you in can't, it at you can't, all. You can't move. You got. You know. You're like. How do I get out of bed? You know. It's. It's a drag. And yeah. Nobody yeah. wants to live in that place. Nobody wants to live in that place. That's why I said, a everyday superwoman knows how and when to replenish herself. So um, some of the other things we do is we have, uh, of course, yoga classes, um, yoga kids classes, 
Uh, we have a, a little art studio downstairs for parents who bring their children and they need some time to have them do something so they can go downstairs and paint. Mm -hmm. um, we do amazing Eastern techniques. We have a Qigong master and Qigong is actually a form of martial arts but meditative, very, you know, slight and intentional movements that cause this amazing move, um, meditation in motion, okay. you want to call it. Um, acupuncturist here, a massage therapist here, mm -hmm. um, dancers here, you know, okay. so it's a movement studio as well. As you have, you have, um, I believe, a class called the Yoga Gallery. Oh, we'll yeah, see tell the me Yoga about Gallery. Yeah. yeah, so the Yoga Gallery concept was just, it's just amazing. When I first started teaching in public schools, mm -hmm. they would not allow me to call it yoga. They said in order to do any kind of physical exercise, you need to be a gym teacher. And so I created the Yoga Gallery. And the yoga gallery fuses yoga, art, music, and the spoken word into a production. So the kids would write, you know, write something this year that happened to you that means something important, something amazing, mm -hmm. you know. So they would write something, I would put it in a form, so they would create a play. In the middle of it, they would do this dance yoga movement thing. They painted the sets. They, they, these kids. It's amazing when you give people an incentive to do something, what they come up with. And that's what yoga is about. How do we come together and create amazing things? And, and in that creation, we're healing each other. We're healing each other through our energy. We're healing each other through what we intake in food. You know, we create this amazing, fun experience, cooking, moving, breathing, you know, and that's what I love about the Foundation House. That's what I love about creating this foundation and connecting with um, Speakeasy Media Foundation, which uh, is our partner in um, underwriting the 501c3. So okay. any any donations anyone wants to make it is tax deductible under the Speakeasy Media Foundation. So we're very excited about our partnerships with the people that we have and what we're doing. It's very new. You know, mm -hmm. this house is not even a month old. Um, well, the house is uh, a, a older than that. <laughs> that. But being I, in the I house, house is, you know, being in the house, we've been in the yeah. house about a month now. Well, you, so. you, you have accomplished a lot, you know, in a month. You know, um, I understand being, you know, fresh and new and, you know, the Everyday Superwoman show is about a month and a half, you know. Oh, okay. years old. So, yeah, yes. thank you, for letting me in the house. You're so welcome. <laughs> I'm looking You're forward so um, to coming back. We will be back because we have to cook in the kitchen. Yeah. Cook, yeah, right? this is a three part series. This is only the beginning. <laughs> I want to see you here more often. I need to come. Yeah, I yeah. know. I, I need to. We'll, right. we'll, we'll do that again. I have to. Yes, we'll do it again. All right. Thank, thank you. So thank you. So, make sure you join us next week. That was absolutely wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So remember ladies, it is very, very vital that we know how to take a day to take care of ourselves. We super women need it. We have to save the world. <laughs> Don't forget to put that S on your chest.